NWFightScene.com. I'm sitting here with Austin Springer, host fight, Bellator 101, Victory. How you feeling? Feeling good, man. Uh, training camp went well. The training partners all showed up on time. Uh, had a great camp. I'm very happy with the sports lab, martial arts. Now you got some grub. We're sitting here at Buffalo Wild Wings. This yes. is what you do. Yes. You got your camp, Gladiator MMA. How are they treating you now that you got a win on the big stage? Awesome, man. I had, uh, you know, I sold more tickets than anybody else on the whole Bellator car, and I sold about 220 uh, approximately tickets. Had a bunch of fans come out. We came out to Buffalo Wild Wings. Had a lot of fun. We had a couple of drinks. Had some uh, food. I notice a lot of people, everybody's saying that you were the fight of the night. Uh, most of that reason being is because you basically got out there, when the first round got going, you started striking, hitting, punching, kicking, going crazy. Um, that fight started going awesome. Now, when you started punching, hitting, kicking, you were going off, hitting him, and then bam, he hit you. When he hit you and dropped you, what went through your mind? You know, honestly, what was getting in my head is I don't want to lose a single round. Uh, he dropped me, but I didn't think that was enough to win the round, so I wanted to make sure that I did enough to still win the round, and uh, according to all three judges, I did that. Now, um, in the second round, when you went back, um, it seemed like you almost came alive again even more. Um, you came alive, you came, you started coming out with leg kicks. Uh, what did Ian tell you, Ian Loveland, uh, former UFC vet? You know, my corner stand told me I'd have to step in more of my strikes. Uh, in the first round, he had a good job of keeping his hands out in front, kind of pawing through my punches, so I couldn't land him as well. And they kind of told me to step in, you know, commit to the strikes and the land. And so I just kind of had to listen to my corners. I stepped in a little bit more, threw a little bit more uh, into my punches, basically, and uh, they landed. Now your corners talk about uh, training in sports lab, but uh, you also just had a little one, a baby, right? Uh, now what's it like uh, training, preparing, having a little one, and then training with all the vets, uh, UFC people, and sports lab? First and foremost, congratulations to my wife. She uh, made sure that our son, he's only four weeks old, she took care of him. If he woke up in the middle of the night, she took care of him. If he had a dirty diaper, she took care of him. If he cried, she did everything. Uh, she let me make sure I got to maximize my sleep for recovery time, so hats off to her. Everybody else at sports lab made sure my training was on point. My, uh, my conditioning, my striking, my grappling, everything was over them. So I can't thank anybody outside sports lab. Glad to hear you with me. Hope that a ton as well. Well, it looks like everything that you need to take care of family, training, everything. And now that's all taken care of at Buffalo Wild Wings after a post fight with Gladiator and Northwest Fight Team. So we're going to end this right now and go take some more shots and drinks. Um, Dude, hey, you. anything you got to say? Anybody you like to say? Uh, rep gear, karma fight gear, dirty boxer, vicious fight gear, clinch mouth guards, Gladiator MMA. Thank you guys so much. All right, you heard it here, nwfightscene.com. Thanks.